Okay, this is basically my first video game review. Um, it's going way old school. These are video games that were popular at Chuck E. Cheese when I, when I was a kid. And right, let me see if I can get to it. But they just have a bunch of little games. Like Off-Road is awesome game to play. I'll play one round of it. They have a Nintendo and Super Nintendo version of it. But I remember playing this at arcade all the time. It's real simple, but it's a, it's a really fun... Oops, forgot how to play. Uh, it takes a while to get the groove going. But then when you hit the straights, that's when you press the nitro. See, I'm in last place right now, but... Oh, I'm about to come in third. I forgot how to do this very well, but this actually is a really good one. And then it gives you a bunch of options. This is on the Xbox One. They don't have it on the Xbox... Or Xbox 360. They don't have it on the Xbox One. Uh, Spy Hunter's pretty good, but I, the buttons could be easier. And then Root Tapper, which definitely was one... Robotron is actually pretty fun. Um, let me see. The true honest truth is, uh, well, like Gauntlet, Gauntlet is definitely one of the best ones. I really got this for the arch rivals basketball. Now I select my hero, and I'm a, a I'm a basically the Thor guy. Could be a wizard. You could be. Um, Oh, and it's fat. It, the, the fun thing about this game is, is, is it's, it's really fun with two players. So you can play with two players. Same thing with Super Offer, but this, this game is a very, very fun game. Played in Chuck E. Cheese as a kid. I loved it. Everybody loved this game. This game, uh, in my age group, was huge. Okay, and then basic, but it's fun playing with two players instead of one and just, just one. That's that's half the fun right there because in the arcade you used to play with four players one person has to be the elf one has to be valkyrie which is the woman and then the wizard and then i got the thor guy with the hatchet but this game is definitely a great fun game to play uh and then Eh, Defender is a little on the old school side, but I'll go. I'm gonna go with the reason why I basically bought the game. Okay, and this was for this reason only: is the basketball. It's simplistic. It's not too complicated, and uh, I like that. They don't give you the options. You only get to meet two different colors teams. Now the. GameCube version, you could switch it, but didn't have as many games in the compilation. But this is the game. You got to get it down, though. See, I thought I get. I always think that A is pass and B is shoot. Actually, I'd feel more comfortable if it was that way. I could change it in the settings. But it's a simplistic game, and what you just punch. You punch on defense. And, but you press it and hold it down. And then you try to punch the person. Or you can go in front of the screen and block. See, look, at, I got my groove on here. See, he's back there. I go there. And I control. You control one. You control the shooting on both guys. It's a great game. In all essence, this is the whole reason why I bought this game. Because, uh, it's a classic. It's actually the first, one of the first sports games that ever came out on arcade. Ever. I think it was the first one. But it still, to this day, stands up as a great game. Well, that's my first uh, video game uh, review. Um, thank you very much.